Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lang Academy. Lang Academy is a program in which you can learn with Langtronics to acquire useful and popular LED knowledge, even as amateur. Today, we're gonna talk about another basic yet important concept: brightness. First of all, let's introduce what brightness is. The brightness of an LED display is usually expressed by a numerical value in candela per square meter or nits, which refers to the luminous intensity per square meter when the display is working normally. The higher the value, the brighter the display. Generally speaking, among the series of optical parameters such as brightness, contrast ratio. Grayscale and color saturation. Brightness plays an essential and decisive role. Why? It is because only when the screen is under enough brightness can the other optical parameters be perceived. Suppose that an LED display is in super low brightness, that is, almost blackout. No sharp colors will be shown. It is meaningless to talk about color saturation and grayscale at that moment. So do the other optical parameters. As brightness is so important, how can we choose the appropriate brightness for an LED screen? In general, we recommend less than 1,000 nits for indoor LED walls, 3,000 to 5,000 nits for semi-outdoor ones, and 5,000 nits to 10,000 nits for outdoor ones. However, due to the different usage and installation locations in particular application, the applied brightness of an LED screen may vary accordingly. Under different usage, for example, for indoor business document presentation, 200 to 300 nits for brightness can be satisfying. For indoor video and visualization contact playback, the actual brightness we need is 400 to 600 nits. For indoor advertisement showcase, higher standard of 600 to 1,000 nits can draw more viewers' attention. In regards to installation locations, for outdoor LED walls facing east and west, that is, facing the sun, we need at least 700 nits of the brightness. For outdoor LED walls facing south and north, the minimum brightness can be lowered down to 6,000 nits. So here comes the problem: What if an LED screen exceeds or falls short of an optimal brightness range? It will be similar to the situation when you are dimming your mobile phone to the darkness under midday sunlight. You cannot see clearly, thus your eyes feel tired. On the contrary, adjusting your mobile screen to its full brightness in midnight will not only waste electricity but also harm your eyes. Now you got it. Why D O O H expects LED displays of high brightness? Brighter screen can be more enticing, but excessive brightness will cause discomfort and waste. In conclusion, the appropriate brightness of an LED screen should be subject to the actual installation surroundings and application. In the next Lan Academy, we will show you the topic of refresh rate. Please subscribe and keep updated with Landronics.